Good morning, good morning, influencers. Good morning. So I'm out and about, but I still wanted to come on live as you all know how I am in um, about consistency, being consistent. So good morning, good morning, good morning. Happy shared success Saturdays. So this morning, I'm not going to be before you long because I am out and about. I'm currently at the nail salon. However, an obligation is an obligation no matter where I am, what I have to do, um, the obligation is still what it is. So this morning, the today's topic is the friend of a fighter. And I want to, um, this, this topic and, and this broadcast is um, my tribute to my friend, um, my sissy, whom I love and miss very, very much, um, Miss Tashina Cephas. Um, I picked today's topic as Shared Success Saturday because um, I am in preparation um, for preparing myself for graduation on Wednesday. And um, Sheena and I was actually in school together and due to graduate this Wednesday together. So today I, I share the success, um, not for just myself, but with her, um, even in her absence. And last week, um, the week before last, no, last week, maybe it was, no, it was the week before last, I was asleep and when I woke up, I like woke up and I seen myself giving the speech at the graduation um, that has not been confirmed yet and I haven't even made the request um formal a written request um I've you know spoke to some about uh speaking at graduation but anyway um I I sing myself giving this speech and God himself gave me the title of the speech I heard myself saying you know different things while giving the speech so today today um topic the friend of a fighter um, as I prepare for graduation, I'm super, super excited to be in the place um, to celebrate uh, such milestone um, in my life. But at the same time, emotionally, I, I do, um, I do have some have some um, emotions about you know her not being. Uh, still here to share the moment with uh, with me. So as you heard, I have the younger one with me today. Say good morning. Say good morning. Good morning. Um, so she's with me today uh, as well as her sister. Um, but anyway, this morning, like I said, this uh, live, excuse me, my thing is falling but this live is you know I'm this tribute is to her because um, even this writing was inspired by um, the message was inspired by her um, so the front of a fighter so I just want to give you a, as you know I always do a scripture and this morning um, when I, I thought about it the scriptures Biblically, I'm like, God, you know, let's talk about some well-known fighters in the Bible. So we have King David. We have the Apostle Paul. We also have Jesus himself. He was a fighter. So this morning, I just was reading in uh, 2 Timothy 4 and, and um, chapter 4. I'll just read what was in the message version that I have written down here. Um, 2 Timothy chapter 4 and verse 1 it says I cannot impress this I cannot impress this on you too strongly God is looking over your shoulder Christ himself is a judge with the final say on everyone's living and dead he is about to break open with his rule so proclaim this message with intensity keep on your watch challenge warn urge and urge your people don't quit yes just keep it simple you're going to find that there will be times when people will have no stomach for solid teaching but will fill up on spiritual junk food catchy opinions that tickle their fancy but you keep your eye on what you're doing 
Accept the hard times along with the good. Keep the message alive and do a thorough job as God's servant. You take over. I'm about to die. My life isn't offered on God's altar. This is the only race worth running. I ran hard. I run hard to finish. Believed all the way. And all that's left, that's now left, is the shouting. God's applause depends, depends on it. He's an honest judge. He'll do right. Not only by me, but by everyone eager to his coming. So this scripture this morning just inspired um, the, the topic, uh, your, uh, the friend of a fighter. Because when I woke up and I, I heard myself giving this speech, my friend Sheena, she was definitely a fighter. And, you know, when she passed away, I don't say that she lost the battle. I say she won. I say she fought. And, you know, in her fighting, I watched her, you know, go through treatment, but yet still fight to do her studies, uh, prepare for exams, get to the college to do, um, to meet with tutors, to get help. So I watched her in her fight and, you know, Sheena wasn't just someone I would say, oh, we were friends and passing, but Sheena was one of my close friends um, to whom celebrated much of, we shared and celebrated much of each other's success. Um, I, I, I go back to when I got married five years ago. She was the one, she not only did my hair, but she did my makeup. Um, traveling down to um just you know birthdays to when you, my husband and I purchased our first home to the birth of you know my last um my last three children Sheena was there um so when she took on the battle to fight um what she was battling let me tell you even in all that she went through, I can say I am the friend of a fighter. I am the friend of a fighter. And because of that, I still, you know, as the scripture said, even in her absence, the scripture here, it says that, um, it says, but keep an eye on what you're doing, except the heart accept uh, the hard times along with the good keep the message alive do a thorough job as God's servant so even in the opposition even in the obstacles even in all that I went through I still I still kept an eye on what I was doing I remained focused not just for me so even on um today as after I leave the nail place, my intentions are to decorate my cap. And on that cap, um, I want to put there, with the strength of God, Sheena, we made it. So I'm super excited. And I share the success, not just with, you know, um, my friend Sheena, but I share the success with my community because me and Sheena had um, the intentions. Our intentions were to obtain these degrees to open up facilities that would speak to some of the issues that we face in our community as our degree is in human services, behavior, health. So we had plans and, you know, even in, you know, me giving this message this morning that I am the friend of a fighter, when it's all said and done, you know, my inspiration to you all today is to keep fighting, that someone else even when you gone, even when you've moved on, whether it be moved on from the place of the place that you're fighting to make change and you say, you know, my assignment here is up, even though things are not complete, you pass it on to somebody else or, you know, you transition it from this earthly world to glory um my inspiration today is just be inspired to continue to fight no matter how you feel no matter what you 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 encounter no matter uh 
no matter who says you cannot be inspired to continue to fight that somebody may say about you that I am a friend of a fighter that regardless as to what she was faced with she still fought regardless as to what regardless as to what people wanted her to believe she still believed that in what she was fighting for was worth the fight so you know this tribute is to my friend Sheena you are a lot of you all know her beautiful spirit she would sing I mean sing and listen we stay cracking up like for real even in you know my last visit with her my last words was God will give you double for your struggle and we was having a conversation and when I said those things, God will give you double for your struggle. I was reminded of Job. I was reminded of Jeremiah. And all of that, God will give you double for your struggle. Even though the content of what I was saying to her did not relate to her, her battle or, you know, the thing that she was fighting. God himself knew what he intended for those words to mean at that particular time so my inspiration today is keep fighting i don't care what it looks like keep fighting i don't care if as if if it seems that you know what you're fighting for is so far-fetched that it's unobtainable it's not reachable my inspiration today is to keep fighting that someone else may say i am the friend of a fighter i am the friend of a fighter so you guys as i prepare for graduation i would i just ask that you all keep me in prayer keep me in prayer keep i, I am praying for you all we need to be praying for one another i need us to be praying for one another that we don't lose uh, that we don't lose faith that we don't lose sight of you know what we are fighting for and to know that every ounce of this fight is well worth it so today 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 be inspired be encouraged to continue to fight for i am the friend of a fighter this is shay you guys i love you all um i love you all to life and you know just keep praying just keep fighting whatever you do please do not stop fighting I don't care who don't believe in what you're fighting for. I don't care what it looks like, what it seems like. Keep fighting. Last semester, um, I took five classes because Sheena was taking her last three classes. And I was like, listen, we got goals. She had three classes left. And the goal was for us to walk the stage together in the spring. But because I am the friend of a fighter, I don't only walk the stage on Wednesday for me. I walk the stage for Tashina Cephas. I walk the stage for my community. I'm walking the stage for my children. I'm walking the stage for your children. I'm walking the stage for our children. I'm walking the stage for the future coming generations because I understand what I am fighting for. And I know that when it's said and all said and done, I want someone to be able to say, I didn't understand everything that Shay did. I did not understand why she said some of the things that she said. But once it's all said and done, I want to be able to say, I am. I want them to say, I am the friend of a survivor. You all have an amazing Saturday. I love you all to life. I am Shay here to inspire the influencer in you. You know, and even with that, even with that, you guys, listen, even in her absence, Sheena was an influencer. She would sing to the power of God would come down. She would inspire many of us to do more, to do greater. So this morning, as I have given this message, she inspired this message. This message came from God, but it was an inspirational message as a reminder to me to keep fighting, to keep going, because I watch my friend, my fighter friend, fight until the very end and even in her fight 
she won. And even in her fight, even today, she still stands victorious. So I am just, I'm just excited, y'all. Yes, um, yes, uh, Renee. Yes, John. Yes, rest her soul. God knows, I am, I am proud to say I am the friend of a, uh, of a fighter. I am proud and I am, I am honored to say I knew such a fighter such as her. And I am living that someone else may be able to say, even in my absence, that they are a friend of a survivor. They are a friend of a fighter. They know what it means. They know what it feels like. What they can attest to say, I seen her fight. I understood even when I did not understand why but I am a friend of a fighter. You all have an amazing day. I love you all to life. Thank you, thank you, thank you for all of you all, for all of your support, all of the shares, all of the encouraging words, all of your inspirational words. Because again, even though the, the tagline for WOW Inspire is inspiring the influencer in you, I'm a firm believer that every coach needs a coach, every leader needs a leader. So continue to be inspired that you may be, be able to inspire somebody else. Love you all to life. Have an amazing day. John, I will see you today. I better see you today. So I love you all. Have an amazing day.